Welcome back. We're back in the plains with Valheim developer Luma again today. And we end up having kind of an unusual challenge to get through as well. I mean, we are doing it again in the plains at night with no rusted and everything, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it will be fine. Good shot. Ah, uh, thanks. Oh, where'd he come from? You're right. There were more. Yeah. Where is he at? There he is. I hear him. There you are. Another oh, one, one star. Ah, oh, nice block. Yo. Chill out, man. It's the classic Frostner dad joke. Except it's a mom joke when I tell it. <laughs> <laughs> is this the last one? Where'd he go? There he is. Bye bye. Rip. <laughs> I mean, that went pretty smooth. It did. Yeah, you're the only one that died, so it's fine for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's... for being that many at night, you know. Yeah. I think we did great. Yeah. I agree. Got lots of stuff to pick up. More black metal to smelt. More plants. I don't think I can pick up. I got too much stuff. Get rid of bones. We get so many bones. Yeah. I know we have the shield now, but are y'all gonna think about doing more stuff with bones? Somebody the other mm -hmm. day suggested bone arrows. I was like, oh, I hadn't oh, heard that, that before. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a good question as well. Hmm. Do you have, like, an insane amount of bone? I, I just put it in the obliterator now. Oh, oh god, okay. I don't even keep them because there's so many. It's kind of like troll armor, you know? But yeah. since we're very likely getting more to do with the troll armor, um, mm, yeah, I've started keeping it again. I was just throwing it out, but I've started saving it up again. Yeah, yeah. Because it could be very valuable. What else would you like to see the bones being used for? I think that they could be used um, for build pieces. Mm -hmm. As something unique, or decorative items, you know, Vikings decorated yeah. with bones. Mm -hmm. A lot of different things. Um, also, um, you can make a bone knife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would assume bone weapons would be kind of earlier game, just because they don't seem like they would be as strong, you know. Yeah. They would hmm. be more brittle. Or bones could be used to, um, bones could, oops, sorry, I went the opposite. Um, bones could be used, um, like as optional decorative things. Hmm. You know? Like to add yeah, them yeah. on. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're not fond of that idea. I mean, I, I am. Uh, it's, it's very interesting to hear thoughts on what we could do with stuff yeah i mean i don't know how hard it would be or if it would be possible but i mean armor customization is something that a lot of people ask for obviously yeah and i don't know how realistic it is that we would get that or i mean i know robin has said that they're still y'all are still looking at ways yeah to do that stuff. is true so, but I, I guess nothing is impossible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one's not high on the list, though, I guess. Um, not right now, I think. Yeah. But, I mean, if people get way too much bones, then I think we kind of want to do something about that, so that you can use it in some way. Mm -hmm. Is it Minecraft? I should know that, but uh, is it Minecraft that does the... Uh, Bone meal? Or plants, maybe? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, you worked for Mojang, and... Yes. Am I saying it right? How do you say it correctly? Oh, in, uh, in Swedish, or how a Swede would say it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, that would be Muyang. That's completely different. <laughs> yeah. It is weird. <laughs> but but the word is it's Gizmo in Swedish. Gizmo. Almost. Yeah. A lot of people compare Valheim to Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel I about think, that? Uh, I mean, I I, I get them. Um, especially since I believe Richard even said himself that he got a lot of inspiration from Minecraft when he created this game. I don't um, think I knew that. Hmm. I think it's Minecraft, Terraria, and Skyrim, I guess. Yeah. That's like the three big inspirations. And Zelda, of course. Yeah. Yeah, like, who was it? PC Gamer put out an article recently saying that Valheim is their new Minecraft. Uh, I may have missed that. Did they say that? Yeah. That's, that's very kind of them to say. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was not long after y'all got Game of the Year. Oh. That was very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. Did y'all do a little celebration? <laughs> uh, no celebration, actually. No. It was kind of like in our internal chat. Uh, that's very nice, everyone said. And <laughs> that, that's it. But I mean, it's difficult to uh, celebrate nowadays. True. I was glad that y'all got it, though. Yes. Yeah. I mean, y'all have been nominated for so many awards this year. It's mm -hmm. like everything that comes up, you're nominated for something. Yeah. And that's very cool as well. Yeah. That's, I yeah. mean, amazing, right? Y'all are still early yeah. access. That's not very common. No, I think that's quite unusual. Yeah. Um, especially the one from PC Gamer. I think it came out of nowhere for all of us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's very cool. It is. But, yeah, I was glad that y'all got that one. But, yeah, it's just crazy how much, how many awards y'all have been nominated for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like old hat to you now. You're like, ah, oh, yeah, another award. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's not like that yet. No. Yet. <laughs> I don't think that will ever happen. Everyone got super excited when we got even nominated for stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So if we win such a thing as well, then it's very, very cool for all of us. Oh, I can't care any more tar. I'm too heavy. Oh uh, yeah, I'm getting a full inventory as well. I'm gonna make a chest over here by the portal. Oh, I don't have any. I don't have enough wood. I only need one more wood though. So where? You could eat another bite. I should listen to that since we're on the planes. Yes. I think that's a really good advice. <laughs> good time to remember it. I'm always bad about forgetting to eat when I'm building. Mm. Hey, foolings are killing more locks for me over there. Oh no. Or something's glitching out because those locks look like they're walking but they're going nowhere. They're just in the same place. Uh, Mr. Hmm. Bug Tester. <laughs> yeah? Where? I've got something for you to see. Do you see? Oh, oh that, that's, uh, that's nothing. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's, that looks weird. It looks like it got stuck somehow. Something's up. Should we investigate? Definitely. And get some lox meat. Yeah, yeah. More lox meat pie. I haven't started oh. a lox farm. I had a couple Do you have trained. any tamed ones? I had a couple tamed, but it was near the swamp, and they got oh. they got eaten. They got lured oh, no. into the swamp by evil swamp creatures. That's that's evil, right? Swamp How dare they? Oh, hello! I was looking at the other one.
Oof. Careful now. Don't you yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Don't you do that. Leave him alone. Yeah, I don't want to die again. <laughs> when I was talking to Monty about coming on, she's like, yeah, sure. But mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm not very good at the game, and I was like, it's fine. It's much more entertaining when you die. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's true, right? Like, if we were just perfect all the time and never messed up, people would be like, yeah, they're boring. <laughs> that's yeah, why that's I mess true. up. All my mess ups are on purpose. I'm just going on record now. Saying, Same. Yeah. Same. I, I, I mean, how would it look like if a dev never dies yeah people would say you're cheating they would think so so you gotta do it it's it's for science yeah 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 <laughs> do we get him oh no there's still one more over there should we get him yes get him get him ah oh. here he comes down with you Ow! He's trying to get me back. Yeah. That was bad timing. Oh no, that was bad timing too. What am I doing? There he goes. Nice. Bonus lock stuff. Now I can finish um, all the rugs on your floor. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I was low on locks. Stick this back in here. It would kind of be nice too with the rugs if we could hang them on the walls. Mm. Yeah, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Another way to decorate with them. Mm. Uh, that's not a bad idea, I think. Yeah, You cause... could have different colors in, in your rooms. Exactly. Yeah. It makes it more personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think anything adding more color and different options to the decorating stuff mm. is awesome. Like we use the berries to dye the um, banners, but we don't dye anything else yet. Oh, we got one moving over here. Oh yeah, I see two. Three. Oh. I did not move out of the way <laughs> <laughs> that's got a key to success in tarpet easier said than done but uh... oh, see i'm distracted and i am just like don't even have my bow out okay good i rolled after he hit me <laughs> good job Oh uh, yeah, you too. Or there's another one. There he is. Yeah, no, I think those two were all you. <laughs> no. I was just being random. Down you go. He gotcha. Nothing but a scratch. <laughs> uh, when you wrote to me, by the way, that we were going tar hunting. Yeah. I had to check out myself the tar pits because it was quite a long time ago. I actually went to them. I was like, yeah. this should be fine. Just gonna see how it goes myself. And I got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> um, but I was really prepared for the worst here. But so far, so good. You're a bit out of practice with tar pits. Yes. Well, I'm glad that you went and prepared. At least you didn't die doing a tar pit. <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to yinx it. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm swimming. Is this how I die? Drown in the tar pit? <laughs> that seems like a really horrible way to die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? Let me use my pickaxe. What? Okay, I need to get out of here. I can't get. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was totally stuck. Oh, 
That could totally be a prank. Hmm. Like if you're doing a tar pit with somebody, like mm -hmm. just constantly pick out from underneath them so they keep swimming. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That sounds very mean, though. <laughs> I mean, not to the point that they die. Oh, uh, okay. Just till you hear just... those drowning sounds. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just until they suffocate. <laughs> I gotta start thinking of pranks. I think I'm gonna get pranked. Gotta be ready. Yeah. You gotta strike first. <laughs> Alright. Is that all? Yeah, I was really low on tar, so... I was very glad that you were up for doing this today. Yeah, of course. There. Nice. I think that's all of them. Looks like it, yes. Is that another one over there? Oh no. It's a shadow. My mist lands over here. Is that mist lands or swamp? Uh, oh. It looks like swamps to yeah. the right and mist lands to the left. I think. Yeah. I was kind of happy when y'all blanked out mist lands from what it was before because it was so hard to get through. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah, running and you're like, oh, I can make it under this tree branch. No, I can't. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Go back the other way. <laughs> and no music. It was kind of creepy. The, um, weird. the level of darkness. Like yes. Pitch black. Yeah. It was like, I don't know if you're familiar with Harry Potter, but it was like Dementors, like how they describe mm, yes. it. Harry Potter is great. <sighs> Alright, I knew we'd get along. <laughs> <laughs> Slytherin for the window. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, one of the heroes of the story did end up being Slytherin. Yeah, that's true. Has, has Harry Potter been out long enough that we can talk about it without spoiling things for people? I think so? I would think so. It would be kind of weird if you had to put spoiler alert on it. For Harry but... Potter. Spoiler alert. Harry Potter fans. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I guess it depends on the age of people watching this. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much adults, so... Yeah. Yeah, that we should be good. <laughs> yeah. They have an idea what's going yeah. on. Okay. Yay, look at all my tar. I'm excited. Um, How much do you have? I got 98. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I got a totem, too. Sweet. Just over here on my building stuff. Keep adding on guest rooms. Here's some more tar. Thank you. Ooh, nice. That's awesome. Okay, it looks like it's getting dark. Should we sleep before we head out again? I think that's a good idea. Okay. I don't know how much time you have today to try to keep it uh, in. I, I, uh, I have time. Okay. We can uh, end whenever you want. <laughs> okay. But no stress on my end. Okay. Nice and dry in your room, right? Yes, very. I love doing the roofs that are different like that. Yeah, that's very, very cool. I mean, it takes longer to build, obviously, but... Mm. That's a unique look. It's worth it in the end. Mm-hmm. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, no, wait. I actually need to repair my stuff. Oh, that would have been a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Um... I think I'll come back and do that. So how do you think things are coming along for the Mistlands? Ooh, hmm. I mean, it's going good. Uh, mm -hmm. This week we've been kind of doing a push uh, for the mountain caves, though. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is going very well, I guess I can say. Um, but in regards to Mistlands... Uh, 
yeah. Um, the environment is pretty cool at the moment. I know Richard or Devoid shared some pictures, and I think we did in some Steam blogs as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they look um, really cool. Yeah. Um, it's going to be very different compared to uh, the other biomes that we currently have in-game. Really? Mm, yes. I mean, every biome is kind of unique in its own way. Yeah. I was like I was gonna say a while ago. Like I assume that Mistlands is gonna be harder than the Plains. Mm. Like when people ask mm. me, I kind of say, "Well, yeah. I mean, we go. We're going through levels, and Mistlands is the next one." So. Yes. Right. That's. Yes, that's correct. So uh, it will go from Plains into Mistlands, and onward from there. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess I can also say that people, uh, they were happy when we removed the spider webs from the Mistlands. And I know Robin said as well that the spiders are gone, but mm -hmm. I think it, uh, it's kind of disgusting what we have seen so far internally. <laughs> uh, that sounds like it may have something to do with spiders. Maybe. No. <laughs> now you sound like Robin. <laughs> Learned from the best, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm on Team No Spider. Not as far as like... Um... Oh, let me grab another stamina potion. Do you need any potions? Uh, what kind of potions do you have? All of them. I think fire resistance would be nice. Oh yeah, with your... Thingy. Yeah. Armor. Oh, I don't have any of those here. We can go grab some. I just finished building an apothecary. So oh. I have a lot of them over there. Let's pop over there real quick. Yeah, yeah. It's actually in a little village that we're just finishing up. Hmm. Yeah. I ha it's in the back of my apothecary. <laughs> I think it's pretty much finished, except this little area right here is where our temporary storage was. I need to make a garden there for the apothecary. Ah. And this is my apothecary. This looks very good as well. <laughs> Thank you. Did you make a build, by the way, for the Build a Balder contest? I didn't. Unfortunately, uh, okay. I wanted to, and I started one, but I just did not have enough time to mm, get it finished. Yeah. But the winners were amazing. Yeah. Yes. Very impressive stuff. Yeah, I did a whole video on them. I was really, really impressed. Yeah. With all of them. I'm so glad I didn't have to be the one selecting the winners. <laughs> I was going to say, how hard was it to choose? I would imagine that would have been hard to do. Yeah, I think they uh, they had to think for a few days uh, yeah. to decide which ones. Uh, yeah, and since we didn't have any like categories either, it made it a bit more difficult, I think, oh, for yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, this is the yeah. town hall. Oh, nice. By Beeblebum. Uh, it's very cool with the like. It's not a balcony. I don't. I, I don't know what you call it. Mhm. Mm like that overhead. I can't yeah, think yeah, of yeah. the word either right now. There's a word for it. Hello down uh, there. Hello. <laughs> but in the library, all of the books have a name. Oh wow. <laughs> he got suggestions from the community for titles of books. <laughs> Bad Bromance by Lady Gragra. <laughs> <laughs> These are really good. They're hilarious, some of them. Elder Scrolls. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could stand there and read all of them. They're hilarious, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they are. Dwarves, a short story. <laughs> <laughs> Life on Valheim by David Eisenberg. 
followers of the gray fox nice my fat ambition by bone mass <laughs> startling a tale of burning passion hmm drugger elite the class wars <laughs> <laughs> So you Boris got out. That's a good one. <laughs> the Did... last dandelion. Who came up with all of these? The community? Yeah. People in the community. I mean, us and the guys, there's six of us on this server. We came up with some, but then Beeble was like, let's open it up. And so he like did a thing on his Discord where people could put in names of oh, yeah, yeah. books. Building with Zane, buy towers, why towers rule. That's an inside joke. Because no matter where we're at or what we're playing, Zane has to build a giant tower. <laughs> oh. Fireproof, living with foolings. <laughs> Valhaha, jokes and puns. That's a really <laughs> good one. Cool. Yeah. They're fun. And then this is our bar. Done by Captain Pugwash. Hmm. At Christmas, when the gifts were out, he made a whole section in here with presents for everybody on the server. I was like, that's oh. a good idea. And they were really thoughtful presents, too. Mm. Like, Gigi had not been able to find a um, stone golem trophy, and so Captain gave him one. He was so Aww. excited. <laughs> that's very sweet. Yeah. This is the inn. I, uh, TK did this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just kind of has our beds in there for while we were building the village. And TK did this one, too. I guess it's like the doc's office. Mm-hmm. And let's see. TK did this one. The carpenter. Oh, uh, yeah. TK has a lot more time to build than I do. <laughs> <laughs> this looks very good as well. It's quite clean. Yeah. It's very clean. Yeah, I like it. And then Zane did the blacksmith. Oh, nice. This is here. So you can pull your cart up from the docks. Mm. People keep asking me why I haven't made a porcupine. But I just love to frost them. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I probably should, but... Oh, I went around the back alley. Oops. And then this is the creepiest bakery you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> a, a bakery? <laughs> yes, I said a bakery, all right. <laughs> hmm. Uh, that's a, that is a creepy bakery. Right? This is by Gigi Golden Geck. He, was, he wanted to use something to decorate it with, and it was something that we couldn't put on an item stand. Yeah. And so he's like, fine, I'm just going to decorate with these. And he puts skulls over the whole thing. I'm like, oh, no. oh my god. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> it does. And this gives me some creepy vibes. It's a cool design. Mm -hmm. But he looks more like an apothecary than the apothecary. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you the secret entrance to downstairs. We'll get your potion there. So if you stand right by this wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is where the magic happens. Nice. Got my antlers all ready to be ground up. And this was under the, uh, not the, uh, uh, the creepy place. No, this is underneath the apothecary. So okay, yeah, yeah. This is supposed to be like where I make the potions and stuff. Though I think my apothecary person kept kind of being creepy. Like, oh yeah, am I a witch or an apothecary? What am I? <laughs> <laughs> so I've like got a bucket full of heads. <laughs> oh yeah, I just saw that one. Oh wow. <laughs> All the gifts in the shop have buke parries in them. <laughs> oh. oh. Hmm. <laughs> So there's all kinds of potions in here, so take whatever you'd like. I have stuff to make more, so. Uh, 
Because cool. I'm an apothecary. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's true. Grabbing one of those. Yeah, I love my the forge cooler as a barrel to hold things. I got that idea from uh, Unknown Factions. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I saw that one as well. That was very clever use of it. Very clever, right? Oh, no. It's yeah. going to wig out on me. Uh-oh. Go. Okay. <gasps> you know what? I have not tried to go out of here since I put that portal down. It's in the way of getting out. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place, literally. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, if I oh, take this wall out, will it destroy the whole building? I mean, we could jump chair to chair. But I'm at a weird place where I can't even the other chair. I've never been oh, no. stuck in this way. <laughs> what about, what about, do you have a hammer and some stone? Uh, uh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what help are you? <laughs> I have a sword. <laughs> jump, jump. Can I, can I get in the portal? No. <laughs> totally stuck. Uh. Because <laughs> I was I, gonna say, like, you could, I could destroy this wall, and you could build it back real fast before anything mm. falls down. But I'm just gonna try and, I'm just gonna try and do it. It won't make the whole building collapse, right? It shouldn't. I'm not sure how it looks like from the outside. Okay, I'm doing it. Missing oh, required crafting station. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, we used to have stone cutters all over, but since we're finishing up, there's not a stone cutter here. Hmm. How am I going to get out of here? Can you pickaxe it? Um. Do you want me to? Would it take forever? No, I think it goes pretty quick. I'm just scared that we tear the whole thing down. Yeah. No, we shouldn't. Hmm. Do you have wood that you can make a um, workbench uh, to make a hammer? No. There's a storage chest underneath the stairs there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me check. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it might have some wood uh, or something. That got some wood. All right, let's see. This is very ironic because I spent years playing no man's sky and like building puzzles and traps and people said that i killed them but i did not <laughs> oh and now i'm trapped <laughs> so <laughs> i know certain people that are going to find this very amusing <laughs> yeah uh workbench is out did you have a hammer i do or should i break it yeah you break it and all right uh but I'll I won't be to able be... to rebuild it because there's no stone cutter here. Uh, yeah, yes, there is. There is a stone cutter here? Yeah, I could build a stone wall, so I'll try to destroy it and replace it ASAP, if you want. Okay. I'm All trusting right, I'm you. I'm doing it. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're <laughs> I'm <good>. doing it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh wait, now I'm stuck. <laughs> And my plan has worked. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you in the wall? Are you in the wall? No, no. I'm still down here. <laughs> but you can't get out. No. I didn't think that one through. Shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I could break the portal and let you out, or I could just see how long it takes you to get out. I mean, I, I could do the same thing again. <laughs> break it, run, and build. Try it. Try it. Uh, all right. Uh, okay. Oh, no. It's, Go! Oh, yeah, no! I can? No! No! I can't build it back! There's no stone cutter this far over. Okay, it's oh, no. not. Okay, wait. Look. What is this? K-Town. This is what I need to do. I need to delete this portal. 
Because that's what's blocking us from coming out. Oh. Because I just put there that there the other day. Okay, so now there's a stone cutter close enough over here, right? Yes. Okay. See? We can figure this stuff out. <laughs> that was easy. It was easy. <laughs> Wait, did you get out? <laughs> I did. Okay, there we go. Huzzah! Thanks. We made it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, I that was silly. <laughs> you uh, never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> no. Okay, maybe I should move my portal down a little bit farther. You remember the name of the portal? K Town. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Phew. Yeah, I checked before I deleted it because uh, okay. that's all we need to do. I mean, we could have gone through someone else's portal and gone in circles somewhere and get back. Ta da! Mm, that's true. See, it's like nothing even happened. <laughs> no. Nobody knows. We just repair the walls a little bit. That's all. Yeah. Just some construction work. <laughs> now it's dark again. Yeah. Do you want to sleep again and make another run? Sure. How do you feel? Getting late for you. I'm I'm up for it if you are. Uh, yeah, sure. We could go for another run then. Okay. Is there a rule about how close tar pits can be to each other? Yes. Uh, but I don't know that number in my head. Okay. <laughs> but yes, there is uh, a few like rules for the tar pits when they spawn out. Mm -hmm. And there's also another rule for them. They can't be too close to another biome, for example. Oh, okay. Or they shouldn't be, at least. <laughs> So it's each tar pit group, right? Because if there's two or three of them, they're all in the same group. Uh, yes. I think, yeah, we do have three different types of tar pits. So uh, sometimes they do have three pools, sometimes one bigger pool and just one small pool. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, too, that like usually in a biome, things are friends with other things in that same biome. Yeah. You know? But not with Tar. No. We actually did have them in the same faction, so they were friends with the Foolings. Uh, but Richard just tried it for fun to put them in the undead faction with the swamps, swamp guys. And he found it hilarious <laughs> uh, when they started fighting. And it adds a bit more action to planes, I guess, to see that stumble upon a huge fight or a battle going on. It uh, really does. Yeah. I love watching mobs fight each other. I find it very entertaining. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, ooh, look. They're fighting. Yeah, I saw someone Who's doing like <gasps> a 1v1 one one between one. all... Look. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're back already. Has it been that long? I guess so. How long does it take? For them to come back? Uh, two days, if I recall correctly. That's what I thought. I didn't realize it had been two days already. Time flies. When you're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd your guts go? I want your guts. I want your guts. That's Buke Perry's. That's for getting rid of my guts. No. When y'all came out with Buke Perry's, I did a video on it with my son. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I was like, come on, it's puking. A little boy is going to be all about this. <laughs> yeah. And he was. How did he find it? Yeah, he thought it was quite entertaining to throw up on me. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, seriously, you're going to throw up on me? <laughs> He's like, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. The sound as well is so silly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the graphic, every like it's not holding back on anything. No, it's <laughs> funny the uh, the sound guy he sent us like a few, uh, what do you say, samples? Um, uh -huh. 
of different kind of puke st- uh, sounds. I mean, that some of them were really disgusting. Um, <laughs> so you had to sit around the office one day and just listen to a bunch of different puke. Oh uh, yeah, sounds. yeah, yeah. We had a channel where he sent them, and he was like, "Could you guys just vote on?" I think we got like ten different ones. Uh, That's yeah. Hilarious. Okay, how did he get these sounds? Did he like? Um, m- how do you get a sound? Bunch of sounds of puking. I, I honestly don't know. I think he <laughs> made some of them, and then his par- partner did some as well. Uh, we almost had Lisa going for a take as well, trying to sound like she's puking, but that <laughs> never happened. Uh, yeah. I mean, I was going to say, like, does he like do all the puking himself? or That's a job. Um, I, I think he did, actually. Really? What do you do for a living? Oh, I puke. And record, yeah, I puke. And record it. <laughs> yeah. Send it to people. Tell them to vote on their favorites. Someone got to do that. Right? Someone's got to do it. Let more locks. We take them? Of course we're taking them. Oh, you ruined my sneak. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Oops. That was not... No, that was not good. I am, like, missing my parries today. It's be like that sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, my timing is off. Maybe I need to go to using arrows. I mean, the game doesn't really seem laggy, but... I'll, I'll blame it on the lag anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the lag? No! That was good. Ooh, you're doing that dev magic flying thing for a second. Oh uh, yeah, I was I was lagging a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! So what are the odds that we'll ever be milking Lox? Oh, Lox milk? Mm-hmm. Huh. Hmm. I, hmm. Will that be a thing? <laughs> I'm not sure if it will be. You're like, I don't even know how to answer that question. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ever thought about lox milk, honestly. Surprisingly, that is a question that I get on a regular basis. Do you think uh. we'll ever be able to milk lox? Yeah. Like, milk them and make butter and cheese and stuff. I mean, it would be cool. Yeah. But yeah. I, I kind of think, like, if we're gonna be able to milk something and make food from it, it would probably be further down the line on a new creature. Because that could be, like, a more advanced level of food. Mm. Yeah. That would really open up a new kind of foods to add. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you can make yeah. a lot of stuff with milk. Yes. Yeah, maybe one day. Yeah. As of now, I'm pretty sure we don't have any plans on uh, making them producing milk. But who knows? Yeah, I feel like we already have such features with the locks. You know, we already get their hides for rugs. Mm. And now we can farm them and tame them and um, ride them. <clears throat> yeah. So, I don't know. It just seems to me like it would... There's already quite a few things to do with them. So, it would more likely be with a different creature. Yeah. I know when we added uh, uh, the riding skill to Loxus, we also wanted to add some more stuff. Like, make it a bit more that you actually have to take care of them, in a sense. Oh, Yeah. Um, similar to, to like, horses, how you have to, what do you say that in English? Uh, you don't pet them, but, uh... Like, give them comfort, take care yeah, of them. Yeah, 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 exactly. That way. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But we also have to, like, draw the line somewhere, otherwise we would build, uh, 
things on top of things and never stop and never release it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think that's what I like about y'all having decided um, to do small small releases along the mm. way. To, yeah. You know, because it doesn't box you in that you have to have all of this stuff or everything ready, you know, by this time or this date or whatever. Yeah. And, like, you can just... Like, when you come up with cool little things like that, you know, like bringing out mm. the abominations or onions or whatever. Mm -hmm. And those are really nice little surprises for those of us that play the game all the time. Yeah. You know. I mean, a lot of people yeah, sure. just come back, you know, when there's a big update, which there's nothing wrong with that at all. No. Um... But it's almost like a little bonus for the people that are here a lot. Yeah. I don't know. I think. No, same here. I think we all, we would love to push more content faster. Uh, but how we work, it, it takes time. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, sometimes I feel I'm not really producing stuff. I'm just testing stuff. But sometimes even I feel kind of bad that we don't really have anything right now to, to give current mm -hmm. players uh, because I know there are people playing this game <laughs> a lot yeah even once they kind of completed or yep. beaten yep. every bosses yep yep, <laughs> yep. I did as well um, so, so I know the pain well I mean when you want more I know I know a lot of people have that attitude mm -hmm. personally. I'm perfectly fine with the answer that things will be ready when they're ready. You yeah. Know? I mean... Not necessarily like five years from now, but I don't think that's no. something that y'all want to do. Yeah. But, you know, like it's when people ask me, when is this going to be? When is that going to be? And just people ask me stuff because I follow everything about the game because my channel is based on it. Yeah. Um... But, you know, when I say the standard answer is when it's ready, some people don't like that answer, but I'm like, I'd rather y'all take the time and do it mm -hmm. well than just yeah. to push out content just to have it out there, you know? Yeah, for sure. So there are a lot of games that just put content out there and then it's, you know buggy or just not as good if they'd spent more time on it so yeah i think we're in a very fortunate position as well that we can take time like we, we feel that we don't have that pressure on us mm -hmm. because it's not the mmo game exactly like, yeah um but yeah if we could push out content faster we would of course yeah I mean, and two. But we let it take time. Something that I always tell people to remember too is that you know this is not like you know Nintendo. This is a small company with a small team that just had huge success. But it yeah. doesn't it doesn't mean that y'all you know have fifty people on your team and no. Where'd they go? I heard another one. I heard someone laugh too. See? We're not imagining it. Is he up there? But yeah, speaking of producing content, I think what takes time as well is that we kind of iterate on stuff. Like, we want to make sure that it feels right. Um, especially for Richard, since this mm -hmm. is his baby. Right. Uh, so, I mean, it's it's his vision. We all want to follow it. I know Robin has been talking a lot about that, I think, as well. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. I mean, he could just let everyone on the team work on stuff, but that wouldn't be a Valheim anymore, I think. We would mm -hmm. go away from the feeling of Valheim. Mm -hmm. um, so, I guess he could tell us, you guys go do Mistlands yourselves 
and that would be a very weird uh, content patch. Sometimes, uh, somehow, I don't see that happening, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. It won't <laughs> happen. Yeah, and like you said, it all came from his mind, so he's going to have yeah. the core of what it's supposed to be like. Yeah. It was it really... Missed land. Oh, go sorry. Ahead. Nope, go ahead. Okay, I was just about to say, once we can show more of Mistlands, I'm really looking forward to how people will react to it, because it it won't be like Hearth and Home. I know people expected more content. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mistlands is a whole new biome. And... More on that and other things next time. Until then... Happy gaming! Happy gaming!